You know how he's going again there. Um, just going to prepare a couple of barbecue lamb chops ready for tomorrow's camp oven. So um, I'm going to marinate them overnight. And, uh, I didn't get the actual um, your, uh, good lamb chops. I just got the barbecue ones from Aldi. Um, they're real good. They're real fresh. And um, they'll get the job done just the same. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to lay them down in this tray here. And get them down in there. I'm going to um, throw some salt salt over it. A little bit of salt. Some pepper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to squeeze a half a lemon over the meat because a lemon that's acidic and that'll help break down that um, meat while she's marinating overnight. I'm going to um, grate a couple of garlic up. That flavour will go right through them. And put another one in. Get all that juice out of the garlic. Get all that in there. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, um, it's got some Worcestershire, uh, Worcestershire sauce. I'm just going to put a little drizzle. Just a little drizzle over, not too much. Add a little bit of flavour. And then here comes the good stuff. We've got some beautiful Shiraz red wine. I'm going to cover this meat in that. Give that a nice little trickle over that. Now that meat will bleed a little bit, so it'll actually add to the um, the amount of uh, wine that's in there and the juice. So basically that's all I'm going to do. Now what I'm going to do is here, the two forks, and I'm just going to, I'm going to pierce all the muscle of the meat, because all that flavour, all that flavour is going to go into, into the chops and help the flavour. Now you can do that a couple times overnight too if you've got time, because that'll just help it get into the muscle texture. The flavour will really come out. Also you can go in and give that a toss, turn them over um, later on in the night, um, which will help also, ready for tomorrow, okay? so. I'm just going to show you some alfoil on that now, pretty simple. Throw some alfoil over that. Get him in the fridge. Give him a turnover later on, do the same. And that'll be ready tomorrow with the veggies to go in the camp oven and it will be absolutely delicious. So hang around guys. G'day guys, how you going? Here we are, stage two of our camp oven cooker. Um, overnight, as you've seen previously, we've done our um, barbecue lamb chops, marinated in the red wine and garlic, bit of salt and pepper, so you can have a look at that. They're, they've been in there overnight and they're totally soaked up, soaked up the red wine and uh, they are ready, they're gonna taste beautiful. And now we've gotta get a few veggies ready. So. I've already done um, half a dozen mushrooms, um, a few more garlic cloves, I've done a carrot, some um, two brushed potatoes. I'm just going to do a couple more veggies. Throw them in there. Got some nice celery. 
very good for your celery. Just throw that in. That'll break down in the pot. A little bit of sweet potato. Throw in a, um, a white spring onion. Oh, this will be good. Something different. We usually use the brown onions, but these are. Um, this will be nice. Don't matter how you chop them up. Chop them up however way you want. them in there. Now what we're going to do is I'm, I've got some turnip here. Really good for you. So we're going to give that a quick peel. that to break up while it's cooking so I'm not going to cut that real big so that'll add some really nice flavor okay we'll throw them up there right there we go now we're going to we're going to um, load our camp oven up ready to go. So what I'm going to do here, we've got six barbecue lamb chops. I'm going to put, um, put three down the bottom. Three down the bottom there. I'm going to throw in all our veggies. Have a look at that. We've got a big pot. If you're going to go to this trouble, all this trouble, it's going to take a little bit longer but load the pot up so you've got plenty of tucker for the next day or even your lunches during the week. So real good. I'm going to um, put in um, a can of um, diced potatoes. Oh, sorry, tomatoes. Add a little bit of flavour. I'm going to throw the next three chops on top and all those all those juices in that pan they'll be going straight in that pot and that'll add to the flavour while it's cooking I've got a um, a bottle of Campbell's bone broth here that's going in Throw another hit of um, pepper on top. Just a sprinkle of brown sugar. Cooking's what you make it. You don't have to go off a recipe. Anything we've got here, it's all going to turn out great. And put a little, little bit of um, salt in with that. Sprinkle a little bit over the top. Right on. Now we're going to finish off. We've got some fresh herbs. We've got some rosemary, basil and thyme. Fresh out of the garden. Don't matter what you're cooking. Fresh herbs always go well in anything you're cooking. So we're going to put that in there. We're going to go and get that on the coals. And um, we'll see how we go, eh? Should be good. There's our camp oven. It's been on for about three and a half hours. Just got everything's ready. It's ready to eat. Um, got a fair bit of liquid in there. So what I'm going to do? Just got a couple of tablespoons of um, 
corn starch flour. I'm just going to pour that in. Just going to give that a nice little stir up and that'll thicken that up, thicken all that juice up. You can already feel it starting to thicken up. Yeah. Okay. We'll leave that on for another half an hour and we're going to serve that up. Looking good. Well, here we are with our cracker camp oven. Marinated lamb chops. We've got some steamed broccoli and beans on the side, full of vitamins and minerals. I'm going to put a little bit of this on here. This has been going for four hours. It's all breaking down. Have a look at that. That is superb. We'll give him a little taste tester. It's just breaking up. Give it a go sometime. Beautiful. See you later.